I need to show you guys something my printer does. Oh, wait. You gotta go turn the power supply on. Bing! Oh, easy. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. So I tried using the parts from the original computer, but because of the size of the printer, I was unable to use the power supply and the hard drive. I salvaged a 120 gigabyte SSD from a different computer that is not being used. And I also bought a new 650 watt SFX power supply, which I will actually be using in a near future build other than this. The video card is an old Nvidia GeForce GT 640. The third port, which happens to be a D-sub port, is covered by the back plastic, which I opted not to Dremel because I wanted to keep as much of the integrity of the printer as I could. The back of the printer is one of the easier places to Dremel, though. The I.O. is actually quite plentiful. We've got PS2 mouse and keyboard ports, Quaxel digital audio in and out, a D-sub port, a Firewire port, four USB ports, a gigabit ethernet port, and 5.1 channel audio out and line in. There's not much I could push the IO shield against, so I tried my best to push it against the motherboard just like it would in a regular PC case. Then I put a screw at the bottom to hold that side because I was able to hold the other side against something. I tried to take into account the distance the paper spooler took, but it's still very difficult to open and close the back panel as you can see me struggling in this clip. Okay, so now the power supply. Because of the curvature of the side of the printer, the power supply slopes down towards the motherboard. I didn't realize this until after I had already dremeled, so oh well. It should be fine though. The lights to the printer were pretty easy. I drilled a hole and glued a regular computer's power LED and hard disk drive activity LED and to these slots and I was planning on putting the computer's power switch on the button where it says on but because of the way the printer's buttons are designed I couldn't really push down far enough so I made a little platform I could push against underneath the color button which luckily turned out great. Let us see the uh the carnage that happened make that printer PC possible. And this is absolutely nothing. I uh, cleaned up, so I've cleaned up t uh, once before this, and there was a lot. There was a lot of, you know, pieces like this that I dremeled out of the printer. There was so much I had to clean I was just like, oh, I can't work in this. And so I cleaned it all up. Yeah. So this piece right here, the motherboard sits right there and, you know, has the the uh, graphics cards, the peripheral or the expansion slots covered. So I cut four slots out of this and the, the board and I was able to put the motherboard and it's IO shield on the inside. That's just a, an old one I was using for reference for a little bit before I had most of it already dremeled out and I was able to put it in. These are a couple of uh, USB. So I could easily put this in. This is pretty easy to put in. This is more USB if I really wanted to put it in. I could just like try to put it in the front of the, of the, uh, you know, the printer. The PC printer. And this is also a couple of the stuff that was from the printer. I just take out everything. It's ridiculous. So yeah, that's how I did it. Well, that's not how I did it. That's just, you know, the aftermath. Yep. But yeah, I spent 20 hours over the past week using a Dremel going over 
of the printer, the bottom of the printer, smoothing that out so, you know, a motherboard can sit inside there. And it's cutting out, you know, cutting the case. Gotta cut that. I was gonna put the fan in here, like as a, not as an actual fan, but as a uh, little lift for the power supply. Actually, if I'm being honest, I used two Dremels because my dog here likes to be whiny and excited when we leave. And he runs around inside against the windows and the Dremel happened to be nearby the window. Sorry about that. So, somehow he knocked it over and broke it. It's 150 bucks, something like that, my dad said. These are my dad's. No, nothing, actually, you know, a screwdriver set I used as mine. The only thing that wasn't mine was the, the, the Dremel, so. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Should I wait a week to clean that all up? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. All right, let's go. I'm nah, just kidding, I'm gonna clean it up right now. All right, I got that nice and cleaned off. Now on to the ground. We're gonna put all the metal in a metal pile because we can uh, go get money for that. I'm gonna put all the plastic and everything right here and recycle and make sure I have any other computer stuff. I'll probably keep this case because it's actually pretty good. Um, it's nice and compact and has everything I need, you know? Thinking about the future. I'm gonna throw you out. I went ahead and took these uh, thumb screws out of the side panel from over there. My dog's laying there, and so I can't really uh, take that out, you know, because I didn't have a hand available. I was using both hands, and so my, my dog likes to run out. You naughty, naughty boy. So just took it off the yeah, that side panel right there. <laughs> and, you know, they're rusty and everything, but they're good to have. Um, on hand and in case of an emergency, in case, huh? Good. I gotta see how well I can do this transition, right? We're gonna clean up all this, okay? All right, there you go. It's all cleaned up now. 